Humans have long set their sights skyward. We've sent people to the moon, established a permanent presence aboard the International Space Station, and spent billions chasing the stars. But one nation has decided to take a very different path, downward. China is turning its gaze inward, embarking on a mission to explore the deep interior of our planet. What drives this ambition? Is it pure scientific curiosity or a strategic search for untapped finite resources? And just how far can we go? What might we find and what risks might be buried below? Today, we're diving into one of the most ambitious geological efforts of the modern era, China's attempt to drill the deepest hole in the world. We'll explore what makes this so difficult, why previous efforts came up short, and what secrets lie beneath the surface of our own planet. In China's Sichuan Basin, located in the country's southwest, a team of elite engineers is boring into the earth, deeper than most humans could imagine. The project aims to reach a staggering depth of over 30,000 feet, or roughly 9,000 meters. That's deeper than Mount Everest is tall, but that's not all. A second, even more ambitious drill is already underway in the Tarim Basin in northwest China. This one is targeting a depth of 36,000 feet, or about 11,000 meters. That's 0.09% of Earth's total diameter. While it might sound small, it would rank among the deepest holes ever drilled by humans. So, what is China hoping to find by going so deep? Their mission is twofold. On the surface, it's about scientific discovery. Earth's crust is like a time capsule, each layer a chapter in the story of our planet's formation. By drilling through these layers, researchers hope to better understand Earth's structure, its seismic behavior, and its evolutionary history. But there's also an economic angle. Buried within these ancient layers are energy resources, oil, natural gas, and potentially new forms of geothermal energy. By tapping into these reserves, China could gain a strategic advantage in securing long-term energy independence. This Deep Earth initiative, launched by President Xi Jinping in 2021, reflects China's growing ambition to be a global leader in science and technology. The ultimate goal, to reach material that formed more than 145 million years ago. This ancient rock could hold answers to questions about plate tectonics, climate cycles, and the geological history of Asia. But China isn't the first to attempt this, and it's certainly not the deepest yet. That title still belongs to the Kola Super Deep Borehole, a Cold War era Soviet project. Initiated in 1970 on Russia's Kola Peninsula, it remains the deepest artificial point on Earth, reaching an astonishing 40,200 feet or about 12,300 meters. However, it wasn't easy. The project spanned more than two decades and faced relentless technical challenges. Engineers had to drill five separate boreholes due to constant equipment failures. Yet despite all the setbacks, the project yielded incredible discoveries. For one, scientists found water and hydrogen gas at depths where neither was expected to exist. They also discovered microscopic plankton fossils six kilometers below the surface, buried in rock more than two billion years old. And in a major surprise, they didn't find basalt under the granite, as predicted, but instead encountered metamorphic rock, altered by intense heat and pressure. This helped solidify the then-emerging theory of plate tectonics. Yet, as deep as the Kola borehole went, it barely made a dent in Earth's total depth. To put it in perspective, if Earth were an apple, we've barely pierced the skin. So why don't we go deeper? The answer lies in engineering and physics. As you dig deeper, the temperature and pressure increase exponentially. During the Kola project, the temperature at the bottom reached 180 degrees Celsius, 356 degrees Fahrenheit, far hotter than expected. Drill bits wore down quickly. Machinery began to fail. Continuing any further would have required expensive new materials and technology. By 1992, after the Soviet Union collapsed, the project was abandoned. Today, the site is a relic, a tourist destination for those curious about what once was the front line of geoscience. Other countries have tried their luck as well. In the late 1950s, the United States launched its own ambitious initiative called Project Mahole, spearheaded by a group of visionary scientists known as the American Miscellaneous Society. The goal was to reach the mantle. 
the thick, rocky layer beneath the crust. Rather than drilling on land, they chose to go through the ocean floor near Guadalupe Island in the Pacific, where the crust is thinner. It was a clever shortcut, but a technically difficult one. At the time, key technologies didn't exist. Dynamic positioning systems to keep the drill ship steady had to be invented on the fly. Engineers attached propellers to ships and experimented with ways to keep the drill pipe aligned in turbulent seas. Despite some early success, ballooning costs and political pressure doomed the project. It was canceled by Congress in 1966, just two years before humans walked on the moon. In 1990, Germany launched the Continental Deep Drilling Program, boring into Earth from Bavaria and reaching nearly 30,000 feet. Like the Soviets and Americans before them, the Germans faced soaring temperatures and unexpected obstacles. But they also developed techniques that are now widely used in the oil and gas industry, like keeping boreholes as vertical as possible. So while none of these missions reached the mantle, they contributed greatly to science and even to energy technology. Which brings us back to China. This new push to drill into Earth's crust isn't just about breaking records, it's a sign of rising ambition. And unlike their Cold War predecessors, China has a few advantages. Stronger funding, faster project timelines, and decades of lessons learned from past failures. The Chinese projects are also timed well. There's a growing urgency to understand more about the deep earth, not just for science, but for sustainability. That's because buried deep beneath the surface, as far down as 20 kilometers, lies something incredible supercritical geothermal energy. This untapped energy source is like a massive natural battery. Under extreme heat and pressure, water becomes a supercritical fluid, neither liquid nor gas, which can carry far more energy than typical steam. If we could harness this power, it would be as potent as fossil fuels, but as clean as wind, solar, or hydro. And unlike solar and wind, geothermal doesn't depend on the weather. It's always on. But to access it, we need to drill deeper than ever before. That's the catch. And that's why China's efforts could be pivotal. If supercritical geothermal energy becomes viable, it could lift billions of people out of energy poverty. It could slash carbon emissions, reduce dependence on coal, and create millions of green jobs. And all of it lies below our feet. Of course, we still haven't directly reached the mantle. So how do we know it exists or what it's made of? We rely on seismic waves from earthquakes. When these waves pass through different layers of Earth, they bend, slow down, or speed up, depending on the material. By studying these patterns, scientists can estimate the mantle's composition and density. They also use isostatic rebound, how Earth's crust bounces back after massive ice sheets melt to understand what's going on below. And gravity and magnetic field measurements add more pieces to the puzzle. While we haven't drilled into the mantle, we've managed to get samples through volcanic eruptions and tectonic collisions. These rare pieces offer clues, but they've been altered by their journey through air and seawater. That's why scientists are desperate to retrieve a pure, untouched sample. A direct mantle core could answer questions we've debated for centuries. How did Earth form? What drives plate movement? What causes major earthquakes? What's happening in the mysterious region between the crust and core? Drilling to the mantle would be the geological equivalent of landing on the moon. And China might just be the one to plant the flag. Whether the motivation is scientific, political, or strategic, the implications are massive. China's super deep boreholes represent a new frontier, not in outer space, but in inner space. Every layer we uncover expands our understanding of the world beneath us. Every new sample offers a clue to Earth's origin. Every innovation pushes the boundaries of what humanity is capable of. In the end, deep drilling isn't just about rock and steel. It's about curiosity. It's about asking, what's down there? And then refusing to stop until we know.